It is time for our feature contest. Perhaps the biggest fight in the history of women's boxing. It is upon us, Claressa Shields and Christina Hammer take center stage here at the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Corey Erdman here with you, so excited to be calling a monumental boxing event. And when you consider the historic and social implications of this fight, this very well may be the biggest fight in 2019. There is Christina Hammer. She has long been one of the biggest stars in women's boxing. She has dominated for years in the middleweight division. She is a legitimate draw, a legitimate attraction in Germany where she stationed her professional career. But this is the woman that many feel is already the greatest women's boxer of all time. She's already calling herself the quote, the greatest woman of all time, Claressa Shields. These two have been circling one another for years, frankly. Since Shields' pro debut, Christina Hammer has been ringside at many of her fights. And now finally, we will see the two of them get it on. A packed crowd here at the Boardwalk Hall that has been home to so many historic fights in the history of boxing. And this one will add itself to the list here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the main event of the evening for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First joining us to the blue corner, the WBO middleweight champion from Dortmund, Germany, Christina Lady Hammond. Christina Hammer holds the one middleweight title that Claressa Shields does not have. Each and every one of them are on the line. The undisputed middleweight crown on the line here tonight. Christina Hammer has been gaining notoriety here in the United States. We saw her on national television defeat Tori Nelson conclusively. We really demonstrated the gap between her and the rest of the division. But now, we'll find out what the difference is between her and Claressa Shields. There won't be a lot of love for Christina Hammer here in the venue tonight, but there are many in boxing who feel that Hammer and her jab in particular could be the antidote for Shields, who thus far has seemed utterly unstoppable in her pro career. Christina Hammer, 24-0, 11 wins by way of knockout. Look, 
When I step into the ring, everything stops. I do not hear a thing. No, I do not hear a beat. When I get in the zone, you can never stop when I bring. If I get a hook with a left, it's on stage. Now I got you looking in the face. An entrance fitting for a superstar, Loressa Shields. We have never seen a rise this meteoric in the history of boxing, man or woman. 8-0 and now vying for an undisputed crown at middleweight. She's already conquered the super middleweight division. But this is the fight that everyone has been waiting for. This is the fight she's been calling for ever since she was an amateur. It is upon us. Their names are the ones on the marquee. Outside the boardwalk hall, you see the two Olympic gold medals back to back behind Clarissa and the three world titles. They are all on the line here tonight. Who will prove to be the very best in the 160 pound division? We are ready for our introductions. Let's send it down to the center of the ring to Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Jim Whalen's Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, with a featured bout of the evening brought to you by Salita Promotions and Showtime. We are sponsored by Core Power, Iron Road, and Anita. This bout is sanctioned by the WBO, President Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor Porfirio Betegon, the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Malta Mula Michaelis, the WBA, President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, Supervisor George Martinez, and the IBF President Daryl Peoples, Supervisor Randy Newman. This is along with the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. The commissioner is Larry Hazard Sr. Judging at ringside for this unified title, we have from Pennsylvania, Lynn Carter, from Italy, Guido Cavalletti, and from Arizona, Ruben Taylor. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, our third woman in the ring, Sparkle Lee. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing for the undisputed female middleweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, Live from Atlantic City, New Jersey, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the WBO World Champion fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black trunks, she weighed in at a ready 159 pounds. She is undefeated in her campaign to the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, one no contest with 11 wins coming by way of knockout. A former two division world champion tonight making her 16th world title appearance. From Dortmund, Germany, ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the current reigning, defending, and undefeated WBO female middleweight champion of the world, introducing Christina Lady Hammer. And her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with green trim. She weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. 
a two-time Olympic gold medalist, undefeated in her professional campaign with a record of eight wins, no losses, two wins coming by way of knockout. A renowned two-division world champion tonight, making her sixth world title appearance from Flint, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated, unified WBC, WBA, and IBF female middleweight champion of the world, introducing Clarissa T. Rex Shields. And once again, we have our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Sparkle Lee. All right, ladies, you already received your instructions. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, let's do it. A very nice touch to have Sparkle Lee officiating what is a very meaningful night for all women in the boxing community. There have been many big fights in the history of women's boxing, but there have been some we've missed out on. We didn't get Layla Ali versus Ann Wolf, but we will get Clarissa Shields and Christina Hammer. Round one, this one's scheduled for 10 two minute rounds. Shields in the white trunks trimmed with green. Christina Hammer in the black trimmed with gold. A good right hand from Shields connects right over the top in the opening 20 seconds. This is what we'll be looking for. Can Hammer get her jab working and neutralize Clarissa Shields? Sense a little bit of hesitance from both fighters. There's been so much talk, so much anticipation for this contest that finally they're face to face sense that it'll almost take a second for both women to realize this is real. Hammer misses with two jabs, misses with the right hand. It is a good sign for Hammer to be looking assertive here in this opening round. Almost every opponent of Shields has had that stripped away from them in the opening round. Shields can just make you doubt yourself with her hand speed, with her power, with her defense. Jab connects from Hammer, but Shields replies with a right hand over the top. Let her go, let her go, let her go, Hammer. Don't hold her head. Sparkle Lee quick to break Shields and Hammer up. That may favor Hammer. She probably doesn't want to work on the inside with Shields, who clips her with a left hook, and now a right hand right at the bell. Excellent round, excellent round. Excellent round, good work. Good head movement. Take your time, just like that. Keep putting the jab on, going downstairs. All you gotta do like you're doing, keep moving ahead and stepping back. And she's reaching with everything. So take your time and do your thing, all right? Handcuffs, man. First thing, you have to answer me. Answer me, wait. Stop, stop. Music come. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Rui. It's round two underway. If you're a supporter of either fighter, I think you can find positive signs for your fighter, but there's a big positive for Shields, who might have rattled Hammer with that left hook and comes behind it with a right hand. Definitely the most consequential shot of the fight thus far. 
if things were tentative in the first round, they've definitely picked up here in the second. Field slips that shot, digs to the body. You heard in the corner of Claressa Shields, her trainer, John David Jackson, feels they already have Hammer reaching. So Shields in her corner likes the distance that this fight is being fought at thus far. Sparkle Lee again, very quick to break these fighters up. That could favor Christina Hammer. Shields very good on the inside, very slippery. Sometimes likes to fight on the inside and you'll find her almost walking herself back to the ropes to invite a little inside work. Because she's so proficient, there's another right hand. And another one from Shields. Well, you have to like this if you're a supporter of Shields who now is backing Hammer up to the ropes. She's countering over top of the jab of Christina Hammer that was supposed to be troubling her. Can Hammer start to make adjustments in response? And Shields slipping to the inside, digging to the body. The judges will see that. Excellent round for Claressa Shields. Thank you. All you gotta do is what you're doing. Take your time, relax. You don't think. That's all you gotta do. Very good round. Every time you faint, when she starts to take off, cut either side off them, okay? Make her engage. That's good work. Whenever you throw a shot, you do me a favor. Move that head when you're done. Very good round, very good round. We'll take a look back at some of the action from round two. A big left hook connecting from Claressa Shields. And there's that overhand right. We've seen that connect a couple of times now. And we've seen Christina Hammer react negatively to that shot and start walking back. We know that Shields wants a knockout, has been saying she can knock Hammer out. And already we are seeing signs that perhaps she can hurt Christina Ham. Hammer trying to get back to her jab, trying to keep shields on the end of those shots. Counterpunching of shields. It's already starting to trouble Hammer. there from Shields, but Hammer remaining active, staying out of harm's way. We may be seeing that for Hammer to win, to put it plainly, she's going to have to make this fight as boring as possible. She needs to make this a long range fight in these exchanges, Shields is already getting the best of her. And we're continuing to give Shields something to look at with that jab. Trying to keep her occupied. It's a better round for Hammer. there from Shields who adjusts his footing and maybe try to flurry here to end out the round. And some signs of improvement for the WBO champion as she heads back to her corner.
stehen. Bellen, bisschen. Bellen, bellen und, und so. Und suchen wir mit. Nur bewegen. Rechte Kacke an die Hinten, geh weg. Linke. Wenn der Rechte geht, seitlich geht. Nicht steht gerade. Look at the replays Second from round down, three. Shield slipping a lot of those shots, but Hammer was busier that round. Let's go. Again, if you're looking for signs of optimism, if you're a supporter of Christina Hammer, I think there was some to be found there in round three after what was a colossal round go, two stop, stop. Don't punch, don't punch. from Teresa Shields, who wobbled her with a couple of right hands, caught her with a big left hook. on a counter left hook and again not a lot of time to work on the inside but it's Hammer who's being warned for holding it and perhaps that's why you know Sparkle Lee is the one in there and if Hammer's holding he can't just let them work out of it so Shields land a right hand right on the chin with about five seconds left in the round and that to put an exclamation mark on that frame Thank you. for the Unified World Champion. Yeah, you can do this all night. This is beautiful. I'm not worried about that. Take your time and get closer. Keep, just slide kind of easy way on in behind that jab. Paint it. Get inside. Then let your hands go. The work is good. The work is good. She can't do it. She can't touch you. Just stay, you know you're making move in that head? Stay, stay, just be careful, all right? That's good work. Can't she punch? You get it? Okay, but don't get, don't get careless. Do your thing. That bitch got a dad, boy. I'm telling okay. you. Sometimes do it, it's slow. But then sometimes do it, it's like, wow. Okay. I'm knocking it down. Yeah, though. okay. You got it's it. Slow. Okay. Go work, go work, go work. Oh, if 
very frank discussion in the corner of uh, Claressa Shields. John David Jackson flat out asking his fighter, hey, can she punch? It's not an honest answer from Claressa Shields. You know, Jackson feels that Shields can keep up this pace all night. And really, if she can turn in a replica of rounds one, two, and four the rest of the way, the Shields could effectively cruise to victory. She still has to be careful not to get outworked by the jab of Hammer and not get caught with one of those right hands. Hammer has shown some knockout power throughout her career. But in general, Hammer's calling card throughout her career has been her activity level. And her picture perfect technique. And very much a jab right hand fighter, very much in the model of fighters like Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko, sticking to the basics. That'll only work for two for so long, excuse me. Against someone like Shields, with a lot of tools at her disposal. With movement, with athleticism. Shields is picking up on that pattern. Final 10 seconds, you saw there, it's Shields beating Hammer to the jab now. So round six now underway. The unified women's middleweight title on the line. Clarissa Shields and Christina Hammer here from the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. One of the biggest fights of 2019. Perhaps the biggest fight in the history of women's boxing. The one we've been talking about for years at this point. It is finally upon us and thus far it is Clarissa Shields getting the best of the long-standing middleweight champion, Christina Hammer. Good sweeping hooks there, connect from Shields. She just parries the jab, the Hammer away. There were some who predicted that the jab of Hammer would, would be too much for Shields, and indeed, that's what we've seen throughout Hammer's career. She's been able to out-jab, outland nearly everyone she's fought, but there, you see a right hand coming over top of the jab from Shields, and now she's on the attack. Shields may be sensing the Hammer starting to wilt. Hammer starting to give ground. I'm trying to double up on the jab. Doesn't want to just leave one jab out there. Unless she get countered over the top of the right hand again. There's a sweeping left hook from Shields, and that might have produced a little blood from the mouth of Christina Hammer. 
as the seconds tick away in a big round for Clarissa Shields. Very good. Do you see my work on that with with the rest? Understand us? So, Augen. That's what I'm going to do. Yet, good the round. Mark Weiter with two slages. Well, it's why Saita Maka. Nick stay for them. Nick stay. Zibarta, they back, back, back. Well, and support Duke, but. Okay. Get in the team with Dinazan. Pop, pop. When, when I out for Kaken Haken. So, yet it's the run off for this, but the ersten three were knapp. Jetzt eine gute Runde. Probieren, probieren, Hessine. Round seven and the, the tenor in the corner of Christina Hammer and the body language. Looked a little different there between rounds. Definitely some urgency in the corner of Hammer. She's never really been in this position in her career where perhaps she's trying to claw back or she's fighting from behind. Hammer's always been able to be a front runner. Hasn't lost really too many rounds. We saw her in a no contest get knocked out late after the bell. But other than that, we really haven't seen Hammer vulnerable at any point in her pro career, which really is why this fight is so fascinating. We haven't seen that from Clarissa Shields. As a pro or really as an amateur, outside of one loss when she was a teenager. and you get two fighters like this in the ring together. A three punch combination on the inside from Shields and the crowd here in Atlantic City coming alive as Hammer again admonished by Sparkle Lee. Final 10 seconds of round seven. As Shields putting a little extra zip on those shots right at the bell. Beautiful one, beautiful one. This is round eight. If you want this round, don't rush so much. Kind of do like you do that, beta. Make her, make her, make her, make her punch first, and you count. Take your time. Take your time. Unless you see that you're hurting her, don't rush yourself so much. Take this round. A little bit of a breather. When you see the shot, you let him go. But don't rush yourself. Very good round. Deep breath for him. How do you feel? She feels strong still? Or she starts to slow down. You go faint, go to work. Three rounds to go here in New Jersey. Another big round for Clarissa Shields in the seventh. Looked like she might have had Hammer on the run a little bit in the closing 20 seconds or so, but Hammer, to her credit, looking a little more aggressive to start out round eight. Trying to walk Shields back a little bit. Punch combination connects from Shields. And Hammer looking a little ragged here, trying to hold on. 
really trying to hold on there. Grabbed a hold of the arm of Claressa Shields, and we'll see what's going on here. A mouthpiece is out. Will a point be taken out also? Come on, come on, come on. Keep it in, keep it in. Come on, come on, do it. Put it in, you put it in. I'm not putting it in, I'm not. Come on. Come on, come on, no time. Time in, come on, let's go. Well, I don't know how intentional that was, but that little break probably helped Hammer quite a bit as she gets caught with another left hook, but comes back with a left hook of her own. Looked like Hammer was in some trouble there before the break that came due to the mouthpiece coming out, and now she may be in trouble again. A pair of big right hands connect from Shields. Shields rejects the clinch. Doesn't allow Hammer to hold on, and now Hammer is looking for somewhere to run. She is lifting Hammer off of her feet in the corner. We have never seen Christina Hammer in this condition before. She'll make it out of the round, but she is in serious trouble. Let's take a look back at some of the action. And I believe that's where the mouthpiece came out. It was. And Hammer, about looking down at the canvas as she's getting hit with shots, just completely out of sorts here. Hammer may be starting to unravel with two rounds to go. A chance of T-Rex. Firing up here in Atlantic City. about the mentality of Hammer here. Does she think she's behind? Does she know she's behind? And if so, what is she willing to do to turn the tide here? Is she willing to sell out and really go after Clarissa Shields? Come on, let her go. Box out of here, guys. Come on, come on. Because stop, Shields stop, stop. is certainly on the attack okay. here. I think Shields believes she could get a knockout. Wait, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Keep your head up, keep your head up. Hammer may be looking to bide a little time. Gets back behind her jab. Shields now switching southpaw, looking very confident. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch, ladies. Come on. just kind of moving without purpose here in this round, just circling. And when she decides to stop, she's just getting beat to the punch again and again by Shields. You see in the replays here, Hammer in a little bit of trouble in that round again. We go to the corner, John David Jackson. This is your round. 
Aerial view of Atlantic City, which is played host. Final round of this bout. Let's cheer them on to the end of the center of the ring. This, this is historic round fight, 10. and you see the crowd rising in appreciation. We finally got the fight, and Clarissa Shields to this point has done everything she said that she would do, except stop Christina Hammer, which has looked very much like a possibility at various points in this fight. Big right hand connects from Shields, and she comes behind it with a tight left hook. Hammer at least picking up her activity level here in the 10th round. Shields just such a good counter puncher that even more volume from Hammer seemingly just produces more opportunity for Shields who has spent a lot of time just flat footed in front of Hammer just waiting for Hammer to throw. Her instincts and her hand speed have just been that good all night long. Good body shot from Hammer. Shield says, let's go. Try another one of those. Invites Hammer in and backs her up. With yet another right hand over the top. Let her go. Don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. Stop. 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 She was looking for that home run shot. The big right hand. Final 10 seconds. And that will do it. Has Floressa Shields become undisputed? It would certainly appear to be the case. And the face of Christina Hammer, that does not look like a fighter who feels that she has retained her WBO title. telling the story of the fight there. Well, there may have been a round or two that you could give to Hammer. I thought perhaps the third round was the best one for Hammer. And even that seemed to be more indifference or inactivity on the part of Shields that allowed for that to be the case. But altogether, just Hammer unable to find her rhythm. was countered time after time by Shields all night long. Answering all the questions that we had about, or the people had, not me personally. The boxing public needed to know, was Shields' dominance as a result of her level of opposition? Could she do it against a fighter like Hammer who was regarded her biggest challenge. Well, we found out. This fight looked a lot like every other Clarissa Shields fight. They 
basically dominance from bell to bell. As we look back at the highlights, around round five, when things really started to pick up. Round seven, see, Larissa really had hammer on the run. And round eight, looked like she had hammer in trouble once again. The mouthpiece flew out. to wonder if these were three minute rounds and not two minute rounds. Would this fight have ended earlier? There were a couple times in this fight where only the bell was going to save Hammer. And now we await the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after Lennon. 10 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement with a unanimous decision. All three scored about 98 to 92. All three in favor of the winner, still undefeated. And now the undisputed female middleweight champion of the world, Clarissa T. All of the belts belong to her. Clarissa Shields, a unanimous decision victory over Christina Hammer, and she is now the undisputed women's middleweight title. A dominant performance from Shields over the one fighter that people said may be able to give Shields trouble. Now you have to wonder just who is out there that could possibly challenge this woman. She calls herself the greatest woman of all time, and she has one heck of a case.